are about to hear a romantic drama, A Toast to Cinderella, adapted from a story in Sweeten Smith's Love Story magazine and featuring the love story girl in the role of Gail Allen. Secretary to Robert Patterson, financial magnate, is engaged to Jimmy Court. Jimmy has a small, unimportant job in the Central Export Company, and out of his salary of $21 a week, he's trying to save enough for them to marry on. We find them now in a small, cheap restaurant, the only type of restaurant Jimmy seems able to afford. However, the course of true love doesn't seem to be running very smoothly. In fact, Gail and Jimmy seem to be having an argument. Oh, aren't you being a bit childish, Jimmy? I told you about Mr. Patterson inviting me to dinner because I thought we'd both get a laugh out of it. You can't tell me it's merely platonic when the boss wants to take his secretary out to dinner. Remember, we're engaged. I know I haven't got much money, Jimmy, but... Jimmy, let's forget all about the money. I've strung along with you because I pitied you. What? Of course I like to wear nice clothes to go to nice places. What girl doesn't? I've been sitting at home and going to cheap movies for just one reason. Because we love each other. Oh, so you've been pitying me all the oh, time. Jimmy. While I've been scrimping and saving, you've been wanting to go out with men like Patterson. Oh, Jimmy, please. Well, why don't you go out with him? See what a rich man's made of. Let yourself be made a fool oh, of. Oh, you're making yourself ridiculous. Come on, Jimmy, let's go home. Oh, well, that's no time yet, yet. <laughs> Oh, if you don't come now, Jimmy, away from this hateful place, I'll never speak to you again. Go ahead, then. See if I care. And don't bother to introduce me to your ritzy friends. They may be too good for me. <laughs> Get back to the office, back to the grind. It's a crime they only give us half an hour for lunch. Oh, that's all right, Sally. I'm through. Let's get going. What's the matter with you today anyway, Gail? You seem kind of low. Oh, I'm all right. You aren't going out often enough. How many times have you seen the inside of a nightclub? Honest now. Oh, I go out enough. Jimmy's doing the best he can. He hasn't much money and he gets terribly discouraged. That's the excuse a lot of them give. That's why I picked them wealthy and not so young. Want to go on a party tonight? Party? Sure. I've got a date that will go for a girl like you. No, thanks. It's nice of you to ask me, though. See, isn't this your boyfriend coming now? Oh, yes, that's Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy! Oh. Cut you dead, huh? He's a nice guy. I wanted to make up to him for what I said last night, but he didn't give me a chance. It isn't fair. Well, who does he think he is acting like that? Sally. I'd like to accept that invitation of yours after all. Great. See, the man I've got for you is crazy about blonde. Well, I just hope he isn't too crazy. Having a good time, Gail? Swell. That's wonderful, darling. Come on, Ned. Stay in your chair. Leave me alone, will you? Hey, Gail, you certainly have made a hit with that lanky guy over there with that other party. He hasn't taken his eyes off you for over half an hour. I noticed that. He isn't much for looks, but he's got a nice sunburn. Oh, never mind him. He's on another party. You're on this party. Let's order something to eat. To eat? I want a drink. Listen, everybody. A toast. A toast to our little guest, to Cinderella. Cinderella. Hey, Gail, that other guy is raising his glass, too. Clear across the room there. He certainly made a hit with him. He's made a hit with me, too. How about a little kiss, sweetheart? Oh, Gail, where are you going? Hey, hey, come back here. My coat, please. Check. Oh, oh, yeah, here. Number 67, huh? Here you are, miss. Thank you. 
Are you with that party, miss? There are two cars. You know? No, I want a... Oh, yes, you are. Come on, into this car. Stop, I don't belong with... And don't talk so much. Just get in. The rest of you take the other car. I'll see you at the pier. Okay. I don't belong with you. Pier 48. Driver. Let me out. I don't belong to your party. I was just going home. You're going to Pier 48. Now just sit still. Oh, you're... You're the... The man who drank the toast to Cinderella. I'm Jeff Lane. Who are you? I'm Gail Allen. And please let me get out of the car. I don't belong with Listen, you. Listen, I wish you'd spent the evening with us. I'm the loneliest man on the party, and it's being given in my honor. They're going to the boat to see me off. See you off? Yes, I'm sailing for Trinidad tonight. Oh. It's my first big railroad contract. I'm the one who should be happy, but unless you come along, the party will be ruined. Well, I'm glad you're getting your railroad contract, Tell but... Me, why were you running out on your party? And why did you go with them in the first place? They aren't your type. Well, I was a guest, too. Too bad you couldn't have been with us all evening. But you're with me now. I'll see that the car takes you home after the boat sails. Oh, I, I don't think I ought oh, to. Oh, nonsense. There isn't a party like this every night. You're my Cinderella. And you're staying until I say. Don't you think you ought to go down to your stateroom and see how your party is getting on? What, with you getting off the boat in 15 minutes and this moon practically going to waste? Not a chance. Well... Gail. Gail Allen. What a pretty name. I'm sorry you're not coming along to Trinidad. I'm sorry, too. You always seem to be going somewhere alone. I guess you know what it is to be lonely, too. Oh, Gail... Why did I kiss you? I, I never... I... But somehow it seems so right. I wish I could find what it is I'm looking for. For a moment, I almost thought I could fall in love with you, Gail Allen. I felt it too, Jim. Please kiss me again. Gail. Yeah. Gail, you're what I've been looking for all my life. Jeff! Jeff Wayne! Come on down to your party. We're leaving. Stay here, Gail. I'll be back to say goodbye. I'll see that someone takes you home. He's gone. Oh, what's happened to me? What, what am I going to do? I, I must have let Jeff's crowd know where I live. If they take me home, all the glamour of the evening will be lost. I've got to hide. Hide until Jeff gives up looking for me. Then I'll slip off the boat by myself. It's moving. I must have fallen asleep. Officer! Yeah? Anything wrong, madam? You'll have to let me off the boat. I'm not a passenger. You are now. St. Thomas is our first port of call. You'll have to pay passage. But I haven't any money. I can't go on this trip. What? Where's Jeff? Who? Jeff Lane. He'll help me. Hello. Well, if it isn't Cinderella, how'd you happen to get left on board? Jeff, tell him all. It's a mistake. I have to get off. Well, that's easier said than done. It's a pretty long swim from here. It's all right, officer. I'll be responsible. Yes, sir. Oh, I... I'm sorry to be so much trouble. I, I went into an empty cabin for a few minutes, and I must have fallen asleep. But now I've lost my job. Your job? Yes, I work for a living. I don't belong to that crowd you saw me with any more than you belong to yours. You know, we're misfits, you and I. You'll have to stay on this ship until we get to St. Thomas. Oh, isn't there anything else we can do? I know. I'll get you a job with my company. What? I'll need a secretary on this trip. What? Look, I've got it. We'll radio your boss that you're quitting. And I'll tell my company I'm doing some special work on the trip and need a secretary. We'll both see Trinidad together. And then, well, then you can go back if you want to. Oh, it's wonderful, Jeff. But I've got to think of Jimmy. Jimmy? Yes, he's the man I'm going to marry. Oh, I see. I hadn't exactly counted on that. Oh, Jeff, I haven't been fair. I, I'm sorry if I hurt you. Skip it. I'll go ahead and send the radiogram just as if Jimmy didn't exist. It's too bad we met too late. Oh, it's been wonderful. 
wonderful, Jeff. I can't believe it will all end. Must it? Well, we're landing at St. Thomas tomorrow, and I've got to go back. Darling, I can't let you go. When I've just found you, I can't let you go back. What will happen to you? I'm going to marry Jimmy. That is, if Jimmy still wants me. He wants you? As if any man... Oh, look at me, Gail. You can't leave me like this. You and I are the only ones who matter. It isn't money that counts. No, Jeff, no. Gail Allen. Gail Allen. Yes? Radiograph you. Oh, thanks. Oh. What's the matter? Here, read it. Badly hurt. Need you at home at once. Your job waiting. Jimmy. Oh, I've got to go. It wasn't meant to be, darling. You and I. to see you with the dog. Gosh, it's good to see you again. Glad to be back. How is Jimmy? What happened? He's here. Here? I thought... Hello, Gail. I thought you were hurt. Hurt? Oh, no, that was just a dodge to get you home. I didn't know how many handsome men you might meet on that trip. Jimmy has had a raise, and he's arranged to get your job back. Now you can be married. Yes, I guess I can overlook a lot. I'll never marry you, Jimmy. What? You'd have too much to forgive. You can't do that to me. I've got... You have all that you need. Goodbye. Come on, Mother. Here's a cab. I still can't understand, Gail, why you're throwing down a nice boy like Jimmy with a good steady job. After deliberately lying to me in that cable, that was cheap, Mother. What? Well, our apartment door is open. I'm sure I left it shut. Well, uh, go on in. I just want to... Jeff. Gail. Jeff, where did you come from? My plane got in an hour ago. Oh, Jeff. Well. Oh, no, don't worry, Mother. It's perfectly all right for me to kiss Jeff. He's the man I'm going to marry. But I... I suppose it's all right, though. I, I don't know. We'll be poor, Jeff. Poor, but I'll be proud to help you. Poor? With Dad's steamship company on my hands? Steamship company, but... Didn't I, I tell you? Dad happens to own the better half of all the sugar plantations south of Cuba. But you won't hold that against me, will you? If I promise to work my way to the top... Oh, Jeff. I'll try not to. You have been listening to a romantic drama featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Thank you.